Punjab police confirms arrest of Amritpal Singh and said that he has now been arrested in Moga of Punjab. Further details will be shared by Punjab police and they have urged citizens to maintain peace and harmony in the state and don't share any sort of fake news and always verify and share it only after the confirmation. So this is another piece of breaking news that we have just received that Punjab police has finally confirmed the arrest of Amritpal Singh who has now been arrested from Moga in Punjab and will be taken to Assam later. information online. I would request a CNN News 18's Anshul Singh to give me more details about that. Uh, so yes, this is the first official confirmation that has come to the fore, this time from the Punjab police. Now it has officially been confirmed uh, that in fact Amrit Par Singh has finally been arrested by the Punjab police. What, uh, what we have been told in fact from the sources of the Gurudwara, uh, as I spoke to them, they said that this information regarding Amrit Par Singh was given to the Punjab police by the Gurudwara. Uh, themselves and it was decided that Abdul Pal Singh is going to in fact uh, go ahead and uh, uh, surrender in, in the morning and that is that is what has happened uh, in the morning after com uh, after completing the initial rituals is what we have been told Abdul Pal Singh uh, went ahead and surrendered in front of the Punjab police. Senior officials of the Punjab police were present on the ground including the likes of IT intelligence and SSC Ajnala were also present on the ground while uh, Abdul Pal Singh uh, was, uh, went ahead and, sur and surrendered. But yes, the official, the entire minute-by-minute uh, minute detail is going to come out from the Punjab police. This is what we are picking up from the way of sources within the uh, Rode Gurdwara where Amrit Pal Singh uh, went ahead and surrendered. Because remember, uh, this is the same Gurdwara where the initial Jatavandi of Amrit Pal Singh had happened in the month of September, probably uh, 20, uh, 23rd of September 2022 is the date, if I remember it, it correctly. So yes, uh, his entire... Uh, his entire uh, stint in India has come to, uh, has come to an end in a full circle from the very Gurudwara in which he started uh, uh, becoming a guru, uh, becoming a son. Uh, in the same Gurudwara, he has finally uh, gone ahead and also uh, come out and officially said that Amrit Pal Singh has been arrested and, and in the same breath they have asked the people of Punjab to uh, make sure that the law and order situation remains under control and no fake news is peddled because the situation is such that any sort of fake news that is peddled across could actually inflate the emotions which could uh, eventually uh, mean that the law and order situation could be disrupted in the state of Punjab and this is a, and that is something that is on the uh, last uh, last priority of the Punjab police and hence they want to make sure that the law and order situation remains under control and this is the only reason that Amrit Pal Singh will be transported from uh, Punjab to Assam which is on the uh, other end of the country. So uh, yes, it remains to be seen if the law and order situation remains under control and the uh, plea that is being made by the Punjab police that is uh, that is followed by the people. But yes, uh, it has been uh, almost an hour since this news was spoken first on CNN News, eight, uh, news 18 that uh, Amit Pal Singh has been arrested. Uh, since then, the situation has remained uh, uh, normal in Punjab. We have not heard any sort of uh, situation of unrest uh, or uh, news of any sort of unrest or protest or any sort of that planning being done at this point in time. So yes, the situation uh, remains calm at this point in time. But yes, Amit Pal Singh finally being uh, taken into custody by the Punjab police is definitely being seen as a big, big uh, victory uh, for the Punjab police because remember it had, it had been almost 36 days. It was on the 18th of March since Abhid Pal Singh had initially fled from the grasp of Punjab police and since then he had managed to uh, he, he had managed to fool the Punjab police. In fact, he had managed to stay step ahead of the Punjab police when it came to the entire state and uh, now finally he has been to custody. Uh, we are uh, in the The entire police force was present at the Rode Gurdwara uh, to take up this passing into their custody. Okay. Anshul, uh, since he is going to be taken to the uh, Dibrugarh jail in Assam, could you please tell us more about the beefed up security there? 
Uh, so, if you see, Dibrugarh, as the lawyer was mentioning, that Dibrugarh is the oldest jail in all, all of North East and it is almost surrounded uh, by mountains, uh, ge geographically, is what we, uh, what we have been told. And also, Dibrugarh has been selected as a place because, remember, Amrit Pal Singh used to enjoy some sort of, not a lot of support, but yes, he used to enjoy support out here. Yeah. Uh, out here near, out here near the Punjab border, uh, from where he used to get his weapons, and from where uh, his his, his uh, weapons and drugs, to which he used to take control of the youth of Punjab, and uh, keeping that in mind that his supporters do not get out of hand, and his supporters should stay in control. Uh, all the aid of Amrit Pal Singh and Varish Punjab they who have been uh, arrested. Uh, have been taken to Dibrugar because uh, it is it is a normal practice under NSA that if the if the uh, security agencies think that uh, the security of that uh, accused person is is not good in the in that very state in which the case has been arrested, he could be transferred into other jail without the uh, entire legal nitty gritty being uh, being required such, uh, such as the uh, uh, transit demand and etc. Whatever the legal nitty gritty is are, are required, without that he, he, they could be transferred, and that is what the Punjab police has been this time around. They have taken. Since day one, his uh, on the day that his uh, financial was arrested, all his uh, all his uh, close aides have been taken to uh, Debrugar itself when they have been kept uh, amidst tight uh, police security uh, as Niloy and uh, Niloy has been reporting that the entire uh, entire jail of Debrugar has been uh, converted into uh, almost an cantonment. More than 50, uh, 57 CCTV cameras have been installed to make sure that the uh, that the culprits who are staying inside, who are entering and exiting uh, the gates of that Debrugar jail, that those, uh, those guys are being assessed because uh, Amrit Pal Singh now being arrested is going to definitely unearth a lot of secrets about the entire ISI plan to uh, disrupt peace in India and to uh, re uh, re revoke the Khalistan movement, especially in the state of Punjab. The entire planning is now going to come to the fore. So yes, it remains to be seen if Amrit Pal Singh would finally break down and spell out all these details in front of the Punjab police because if you see the legal options in front of uh, Amrit Pal Singh is now very very limited. He will have to come out, uh, come out in the open, come out clearly in front of the Punjab police and uh, list out uh, and list out all the details about his uh, about the manner in which he was operating, about his modus operandi, why was he trying uh, to get a militia, a local militia? What was the need uh, to revoke a uh, virus Punjab? Day, which was initially being headed by the Sidhu, uh, the Sidhu and whose mission was actually to make sure that the youth Punjab was Paris Punjab did the entire ideology had changed and he started talking about an independent Khalistan. So where did this idea come from? Who were the people who promoted him to the chief of Varit Punjab Day? Because he was no one when this entire Varit Punjab Day movement was going on. Or in, in fact, when the entire Varit Punjab Day was formed uh, by uh, DC Dohi, he was then, uh, in fact, just a businessman in Dubai who was who used to be a part of the uh, town hall club that uh, DC Dohi used to organize uh, via Twitter and uh, other social media apps. So how did how did uh, what, what were the circumstances, circumstances through which he was certainly uh, propelled from being a nobody to the chief of Paris Punjab and uh, right after uh, right after Dhu was uh, uh, died in an accident uh, mm -hmm. he was propelled as as the chief of Paris Punjab so how did that that happen who were the people involved uh, how did he get, get in touch with gangsters and terrorists who uh, who were working anti uh, uh, against India and who were uh, uh, who who are still staying safe. Uh, within the uh, uh, within the ambu of uh, uh, of the ISI, so all these details are going to come out, which is again which is again going to probably expose the uh, the sinister plot of the ISI to create unrest in India by the way of re reviving uh, the uh, the Khalistan uh, Khalistan movement in India. And for the last 36 days, he has been on the run. Who are the people who who were in contact with him? 